Um, it's a movie about Dennis Lambert. Um, he is a songwriter, producer from the 70s and 80s, and he had a, a solo album as an artist in 1972. It was huge in the Philippines, and for years and years they've been trying to get him to come over there to do a series of concerts. And last spring he finally agreed to do it. And Jody, his son, and I decided to follow him over there and, and document it and make a movie out of it, which is called Of All the Things, which is um, one of the songs off of that album that is a huge hit over there in the Philippines. And maybe if you want to talk about your travels over with him, some of your experiences. Yeah, um, it was wild. I mean, you know, the Philippines is a really uh, amazing country. You know, they're very, very uh, sentimental people and very, uh, they, they love pop songs and love songs. And, and they just embraced uh, my dad like he was Britney Spears. <laughs> I mean, they, we got off the plane and it was, you know, Beatlemania in Manila. It was really, really fun. And I think the movie has a lot of uh, the humor and kind of spirit of the of what it was like to be over in the Philippines, you know, on this tour. Okay, so now I have to ask you what it feels like to be Britney Spears over there. <laughs> well, it was kind of crazy, you know, for, for 35 years, this particular promoter who started out as a DJ and was really singularly responsible for launching my record in that country and getting all his associates and friends and peers to jump on the album and turn it into this this iconic hit. Uh, so he's been trying to get me to go over there for so long and he tried to convince me in subtle ways that I was very well known. But I don't think he ever went far enough to really convince me or convey to me just how special it would be for the Filipino people if I came. Because I kept saying no and I wouldn't have said no for maybe as long as I did if I'd known to what extent I was popular because I think it's sort of like rude, you know, not to go there. Finally, we said yes and uh, Jody was encouraging me, he directed the, the film and Taylor who produced the film and my wife Tina and my daughter Misha, they were saying, you gotta do it. There's no reason now you shouldn't go. Years ago, I said no because I was making an album with the Commodores or with the Starship or with Natalie Cole or someone, you know, and I, I said, how can I put this down and, and go over there and, and take all this time to prepare and, and, uh, and for what purpose, you know, to what end? I'm going to come back and go right back to doing what I do. This time I didn't have anywhere near as many commitments, you know, I was already kind of working in another field and I was living in South Florida and sort of not retired from music because you're never really out of it. but. I wasn't actively pursuing a lot of new projects and I said, okay, I'm going to go. And so getting over there and discovering that I have this, this really large core of fans that know my songs and know me and were finally so happy that I, I was there was quite amazing. It has to be very flattering, I'm very. sure. So I'm sure it's being in Music City is probably important to showcase the film here in Nashville. Yeah, it was it was one of the one of the best festivals that we you know were really excited about coming to because of that and because of Nashville's appreciation of songs and songwriters. It was a real real thrill to be asked to show the movie here. Now, did you guys have any sort of difficulties while filming? Anything that you know are, are the normal, I guess, problems that maybe you run into? <laughs> um, I would imagine. Um, well, this being our first film. I can only imagine that the difficulties we had were probably fairly similar to the difficulties that most first-time filmmakers have. Um, but all in all, we started in uh, February of last year, and we're here now. So it was a it was a year shooting the you know a couple weeks shooting the principal photography, and then a lot of other kind of back and forth to Florida and stuff. But um, we edited it fairly quickly, and we just wanted to be finished with it quickly. So. Um, you know, a few bumps in the road, but it was uh, it was fairly smooth. The only difference <laughs> I would say is that I don't think other movies had a SWAT team escort to one of the uh, right. venues that we had in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, so that there, might there be. are parts of the Philippines right. that are, are reputed to be a little dangerous. Right. Um, and although we didn't experience anything, we were very well looked after by uh, the local authorities, whether they were SWAT teams or the police. Or, making sure that the that we were escorted and the venues were checked and there, there's a lot of uh, you know bomb sniffing dogs and stuff <laughs> like that the only potential bomb was how i would fare on my show <laughs> 
So will you be visiting now <laughs> the Philippines on a regular basis since you have such a huge following? I mean, I, I will definitely go back. I want to, and then I think they, the promoter wants to bring me back. But he's uh, he's he's always a, he's careful, and he wants to do it at the right moment. And, and because I have a song that's very popular at Valentine's Day, it's hard to get them off that time frame. They want me there that that month or that week, and uh, and. He'll try to arrange another tour like we had. We did five cities, and it really made going so far worth all the effort. So I think he'll try to put another fairly substantial tour together.